saw how our area banded together to send more than $30,000 and lots of supplies to survivors of recent tornadoes in Oklahoma. Well, now a company based in Appleton is offering survivors an entirely new home. It's currently on the back of a semi-truck heading down the highway. Reporter Melaine Wells shows us how Wisconsinites are thinking inside the box to help those in need. It's ready to ship. A former shipping container is on its way to El Reno, Oklahoma, donated to become a family's new home. And they'll be in it for six months or longer, maybe a year, until there's some way of building their house back up again. But they've lost everything. The concept is patented by Mods International, based in Appleton. China sends these things over. Um, we purchase them after they've been used for one one trip across the ocean. And then we take them and we actually... Um, Test them for lead, test them for things that would be harmful to people. So we build them out to build like a home. Same type of framing, same insulation, same heating and air conditioning. Um, very simple, same plumbing. They're all built to code, to international building codes. Within hours of delivery, the family can move in. This is just basically a regular plug-in. It just plugs into regular power. The home is fully stocked. But it comes with the leather couch. It comes with the table. You know, it comes with the microwave, it comes with the uh, refrigerator. These models are geared toward disaster victims, but mods are fully customizable. So we can set them up as command centers, offices, clinics. For example, Doctors Without Borders can use it for clinics. They're, we have a basic box. We can build anything within that box. Mods can be stacked for shipping, increasing efficiency. They're also incredibly strong and have been tested to withstand winds up to 200 miles per hour. A little peace of mind for the home's new owner in tornado-prone Oklahoma. It's fantastic, and I'm really excited to go down there, and I really can't wait to set the thing up for the, for the family. Now, each unit costs about $40,000. Mods have uh, caught the attention of the federal government. They wanted to order some when Superstorm Sandy hit the East Coast. However, a spending bill has yet to pass to fund okay. that uh, particular offer. So, Interesting. Well, we're